small state in size has played a significant role in human history this is the land where lie the ruins of the world's most ancient civilizations geographically the Holy Land faces the Mediterranean Sea and borders in the north on Lebanon, in the east on Syria and Jordan, and in the south on the Sinai Desert. The shades and colors, the bare rocky mountains, the blue lakes and green oases, all these make this land one of the most haunting and interesting places in the world. Moreover, this is the land where Jesus Christ lived and suffered, the land which heard his mighty words, witnessed his miracles, and in the end crucified him. 
we can take a journey through these holy shrines associated with Jesus Christ. Jerusalem. Let us begin our journey here, from the place of death and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jerusalem stands high amidst the Judean hills. The magnificent walls that surround this city of Jerusalem is connected by seven gates, which were erected during the first half of the 16th century. Jerusalem was originally a Canaanite stronghold called Jebus until it was taken by David around 1000 BC. King Solomon, David's son, built the first temple there with boundary walls, but was later destroyed by Nebuchadnezzar. Under the leadership of Ezra and Nehemiah, the temple was rebuilt, but was destroyed by the Romans around 46 AD. King Herod rebuilt the temple, but was again destroyed in 70 AD. Some of the most important sites here include the Golden Dome of the Rocks, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, which was built by Queen Helena during the 4th century in remembrance to the crucifixion and resurrection of Christ, and the Western Wall, the ruin of the massive Western porch that once surrounded the temple, which is also the most holy place for Jews today. Nazareth. This is the place where God announced the birth of His Son, 
and also where Jesus grew up. The most impressive architectural monument in the town is the Basilica of Annunciation. Built over a crypt enclosing the Grotto of the Virgin where Archangel Gabriel announced to the Virgin Mary that she would become the mother of Jesus. The Church of St. Joseph, also known as the Church of the Holy Family, which is in the same compound, is believed to be the site of the carpentry workshop and the home of Joseph. The Gospel according to St. Luke records that after Annunciation, Mary went to the village in the hill country of Judea to visit Elizabeth. The place is now remembered as In Karim. The Church of Visitation is built above a cave, which is near the meeting place of Mary and Elizabeth. Inside the church are the words of Mary to Elizabeth, written in plaques, my soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Another important landmark of Nazareth is the Church of St. Gabriel. In front of this is Mary's well, from which it is believed that Jesus and his mother came to draw water. It is still the only water supply of the city. Shepherd's Field. Two miles east of Bethlehem, this is the place where the shepherds were told by the angels of Jesus' birth. The church built over field for the gospel proclamation to shepherds. Its interior is decorated with the paintings representing the birth of Jesus, the shepherds told by the angels of Jesus' birth, and the shepherd's way to Bethlehem. 